a porn star, a playmate, and an apprentice contestant all fighting to break their silence about alleged affairs and sexual harassment involving President Trump. So could one of these cases lead to the president being deposed? Attorney Nancy Erica Smith, who represents Gretchen Carlson, joins me now to discuss. And, and these involve NDAs, which I know you love to talk about. Yes. Um, as we look at all of this, though, it's fascinating to me because for a lot of people, there's this question of why, right? So why is it so important for you to tell your story and why do you want to tell it now? And part of that came up uh, last night here on our air with Stormy Daniels uh, attorney, Michael Avenetti, and we're hearing from the other side too. I want to take a listen to that and then get your take. Why is it so important to your friend and the president of the United States to keep this woman under wraps, to keep her under the thumb, right. to shut her up? Right. Why is it so important? You know, well, let me I finish. can tell you, I no, can let tell me you why finish. it's Let important. me finish. Let I me can, finish. I can tell you. Why, why is that so important? Well, let's answer why that not, question first. Why not let her well, come forward? Let me answer your question. It's why important, not let her come forward? It's important forward. to every why, single why gag person her? that enters into a non-disclosure agreement. People do this. People do this in order to avoid litigation and avoid the embarrassment to family, to business, to reputation. That's why people enter into these. You know why people enter into these contracts. They're entered into all the time. So look, if you, and if you're taking what he's saying at face value, yes, they, they enter into them for, for reasons and they do it knowingly. So then why do we want to change things now? Why do we want to keep or why do we want to keep them in place? You can see both sides, but break it down for me here. Why does this really matter? Well, it, people who enter into NDA agreements aren't the president of the United States. We happen to live in a democracy. This president has been lacking transparency since he wouldn't give us his tax returns. But his behavior is more important to the public. The public has an interest to know in, in how the president of the United States conducts himself. We, how do we know this? They impeached Bill Clinton because he lied about a consensual relationship. We know this because Donald Trump held a press conference with all of his accusers somehow in order to tarnish Hillary Clinton. The people have a right to know about the conduct of their president, especially a president who's loved by white evangelicals, they're his base, who want to tell gay people they can't have rights based on their religion, and their religion prevents women from making private medical decisions, and, and policy should be based on those religious principles. And here we have a president who wants to hide his own behavior. He's the president, he's not anybody. So let me ask you, is it about that behavior or is it about legally what we're seeing? And I don't mean just, I mean, there's, so there's the question of, is there the behavior of an alleged affair? That's one thing a lot of people aren't all that upset about. Yes, maybe, maybe it's men behaving badly, but you know, this is sort of what we get. Or is it more the behavior, to your point, from a legal standpoint? And if that is it, we are seeing this constant drip, drip, drip of information from Stormy Daniels and from her attorney, Michael Avenetti. Is that working? Is that working in terms of, obviously it's keeping the story out there, but is it changing in your view? Is it changing the narrative and what we know about it? Well, I hope it is because as they said, in the Nixon impeachment, it's not the crime, it's the cover-up. And when you have a president of the United States making a fake name in order to shut up somebody weeks before the election, and now we know his friends are doing catch and kill with other women who have stories about him, if he wasn't holding himself up to be literally the uh, evangelical president, Jesus speaks to him, God brought him to us, maybe it would be even less relevant. But the public has a right to know about the character of the president. He said that himself repeatedly throughout the election. Republicans talk about character more than anybody. So one of the things that sticks out in two of these cases here, so let's put Stormy Daniels aside for a moment, but we're also looking at, we got this ruling yesterday with Summer Zeros, who was in a, a contestant on The Apprentice, and she had filed a defamation suit against the president because he called her a liar, among other things. He said, listen, number one, I'm the president, so this really can't happen right now when they were going back. And then also that his speech was protected because uh, it was political speech, so he's protected under the First Amendment. The judge said, this doesn't stand, this isn't gonna happen. What's fascinating to me is, that happened, right? And at the same time, we're hearing from this other woman, a former playmate, who says that she sold her story for $150,000. It was never published. Now she's also claiming that her story falls under First Amendment protections because it's also political speech. It's fascinating that we have two different sides in two different cases, but they're both using a similar argument. Right. I don't think it's political speech to call somebody a liar. I don't think that can be called political speech, but it might be political speech to say I have information about the president which shows his character and that he's a hypocrite.
Which one of these three cases has the most teeth legally? I think that uh, the Summer Zervos case does because she can now subpoena all the other NDAs that's going to be relevant to her case, what he said about other women and whether he lies about his behavior with other women. And we just saw on Cosby, the judge ruled that five other women can testify about this pattern of behavior. So she can, she can subpoena all the other NDAs and take his deposition, as we know from Clinton versus Paula, Paula Jones versus Clinton. That could take uh, months. It could take years. Really. Hopefully it'll take months. Two seconds. Do, do you think it'll happen? Yes, absolutely. All right. All right. Nancy, always good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.